Hey everyone and welcome to another Marks and Crafts figure review. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the last In the World Ends With You, the animation figurines produced by Square Enix. Now this is a prize figure like all the others and this sits alongside uh, the previous releases of Neku, Shiki, Beat and Ryan. Uh, for the purposes of this video I will only be looking at uh, Neku as comparison, uh, as the other one, other figures are stored away somewhere um, to make a display later on. Um, but I did think it was good to have at least one figure as comparison. So we're going to be using Neku for that, uh, and we'll just be looking at Joshua today. So as you can see, he's boxed pretty much identical to all the others. A few shots all over, a larger shot on the back. Uh, and looking pretty good so far. Uh, if you remember, I wasn't too taken with the beat figure, but the rhyme figure did look quite nice. Neku probably turned out the best out of all of them. Uh, beat, I just, like, he's a great character, but I don't think the, the figure did him justice at all. I really liked a lot of style, and I'm not a fan of his pose in any way, shape, or form. Uh, so it was a bit of a shame uh, that it turned out that way. But it is part of a set, and I bought it because it was a part of a set. Uh, and Joshua is a similar thing. I bought him because he's part of the set. Uh, I do like him as a character, it's just that if I were to uh, get anyone in the set uh, and I'm, say, limited as to who I can get, it would have just been Neku, Shiki, and Rhyme. Uh, after opening the Shiki and seeing her face, I would have just stopped at Rhyme as well. Um, nothing really bad about the Shiki figure in general, it's just her face didn't look right for me. Uh, but anyway, we'll open up Joshua and have a look. And now you can see, much like every other figure in this set, detail that they don't need to put in, but they do anyway. They've detailed the soles of the feet, um, which is pretty cool. I just like stuff like that. Now, much like the other figures before them, uh, Joshua has a Shibuya Scramble style base, where you can see the crossing, it's all detailed and his name's plastered across it. Um, very, very quick impressions. I don't know if this translates uh, through the camera that well, but um, Joshua's looking pretty damn sinister. I think it might be the angle that you're meant to have him at, because he's, I think he's meant to come off a lot more casual. Um, but to me, he's looking a little bit sinister. Uh, it's something with the shape of his eyes and his smile. Like there he looks okay, but like the more I go there, I think it's the shadow cast by his hair. He's looking like pretty damn evil right there. Uh, very evil over there, jeez. Um, yeah, that's a little bit odd. Um, but general i think it's also part of the pose i don't know i'm trying to get a good angle on him so he doesn't look weird and the suggested angle is more from the side there uh, yeah i think it's just something i have to live with okay so um pose wise it's similar to the rhyme and shiki it's sort of a standard pose not really dynamic but not uh, in the middle of punk combat, like uh, Neku's and Beats is. Um, generally, the structure of the pose is quite nice. I like the ruffles in his shirt. I like the hand in his pocket. I like the folds in his pants and the detail there. Uh, the shoes are pretty nicely detailed. We also saw the sorts of the shoes that I pointed out before. His phone's uh, cover is glossy, so it reflects the light quite nicely. His hair is shaded. So it brings out some nice detail. I like the collar, I like the ruffles, I like the detail. Uh, there's a massive seam line in his hair there, but that's okay. We're not really going to see it from that angle. Even the ideal viewing angle sort of thing is covered up uh, by his hair, so that's cool. Uh, it's just, I think that his head is at a very awkward angle, and the detail on his face <laughs> makes him look more sinister than sort of calm and charming. Uh, so that's a bit unfortunate, so like that. Very much looks like he's looking down on you. Um, when you look closer at his face, you see it's a lot calmer and things like that. So that's a bit odd. Um, but that's probably the only gripe. 
I think it does look like Joshua, even if it does have a sinister look to it. Um, but uh, it's just, just a bit funny. So I do think that it is recognizable as the character, even though he has a very simple outfit and design anyway, I do think uh, it is recognizable as uh, the World Ends With You character. Uh, so like a lot more so than Beat, whereas Beat just had just a massive square head. It's just weird. I just really didn't like the Beat figure, even though I really like Beat as a character. Joshua figure, I don't care too much about him as a character. He was a good character. Um, but it has been a very long time since I've played the game, whereas my knowledge of Neku Shiki and Rhyme is a lot better, and Beat as well, is a lot better than my uh, memories of Joshua, so I can't really comment too much on if I liked him or not. It's been a very long time, um, but I do think the figure does look like him face or not. Uh, and yeah, it's very well detailed. I don't really like how there's a mix of standard poses, dynamic poses, and action poses uh, in the set because I wanted all five of them lined up. Uh, and because it's done like this, it's kind of awkward, especially if you had them all on the shelf. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of how that turned out. Like it is a good figure, but they just, they don't feel like they connect together, um, which is a problem if you are going to collect them all. Um, so yeah, it is a little bit of a disappointing way to finish off the figure line. Uh, I wouldn't mind if they started exploring Neo, uh, The World Ends With You figures, because that cast really grew on me. And I feel like you can get a lot more done with them, and their designs uh, can probably stand out quite a bit more with figurines. Um, because a lot of the early The World Ends With You ones were kind of basic, like if you look at Beat, Rhyme, and Joshua's outfits, it's what they do with the outfits that makes them stand out. When you see Joshua like this, it is a very plain design, same as Beat. Uh, and generally Rhyme, it's just a jumper and um, short pants uh, and a beanie. Um, so it's really how, how they structure the outfits and how they move in them that makes them stand out. And the art style of The World Ends With You really pops. Uh, but I think the Neo characters had a little more time and effort put into them and as sort of needed to make a statement because it's been so long since we had a sequel. So I think those fig those characters would stand out a lot more as figures. Uh, but I digress, we're talking about Joshua now. And I think he's just all right. Like it's a good figure and everything like that, but talking about it as a set, he doesn't quite fit in it, unfortunately, because like even though we had Shiki and Rhyme in non-action poses, they were still dynamic poses. And Joshua's is just a standard pose which means that he doesn't fit in the set at all. Uh, if I were to set them up, it would be something like Neku, Shiki, Joshua, Rhyme, then Beat, so I can have action on either side as a bookend, then dynamic, and then standard in the middle. Um, but it looks kind of weird because Neku is the main character, so he should be in the middle, and it becomes a whole thing. I'm very particular about things like this. Um, quality of the figure is fine, didn't notice any paint errors. Uh, Colouring is great. Uh, like I said, the shading and detail in his eyes and everything like that. Face looks sinister, it doesn't really look like it should on the box, but still looks good anyway. It doesn't look like they made any errors, it seems like that's just a thing that came out in production. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not really that impressed, but I'm not really disappointed either. It's just kind of there. Uh, and I think that that's a pretty fair uh, air it's a pretty uh, fair enough area to stop the video at, really. Um, yeah, not really taken with it, not really disappointed, just, uh, yeah, finished the little figure line, I guess. Um, wish I remembered more about Joshua so I could make more of an opinion based on how he is in this figure compared to how he was in the game. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that video and I'll see you all next time.